love that too, because I can't really get one. My god, man. <laughs> it's usually like the only people I would ask but are just like friends of mine. If I ask like other girls, they're gonna be like, nah, or I'm busy, or they'll bullshit. <laughs> They'll, like, bullshit their way out of it, like, oh, I'm going home. On their Snapchat story, they're still in Muncie, they're just doing other shit. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> okay, fuck you, bitch, you missed out on that. Right, we're, 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 we're streaming. Oh, we are? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna keep complaining then. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, give a fuck. 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 Well, I guess we're getting good enough FPS. It's like good enough, I guess. Good enough FPS. It's like an echo. Woohoo! Let's keep going. I'm trying to... to the 40s. It's not good.
Interesting. For the one viewer watching, whoever you are, I am testing out some things before we get started to make sure that the quality of the stream can stay cons Huh? Did it get Trevor? Oh no, that was on my phone. I was listening to it on my phone. Maybe. It might be, it might be Dennis, if anybody. I am testing out some things on the stream to make sure that it stays consistently good. I'm also going to be uploading this to YouTube, maybe. We're all just, we're just hanging out. Having a good time. Relaxing. Chilling. Chilling. Like a villain. Well, no, no frames are dropping and the quality remains good so far. When Trevor gets back in here, I'm going to let him play and I can... Leave him to me! I've ever gotten on that level. Okay, well, gotta share this out.
grandpa's truck. <laughs> you must be happy about that. It's all right. The one thing that's weird is, um, so I have like a little Bluetooth thing that plugs into the radio and mm -hmm. has to like find an empty station. The radio doesn't get to that certain station. Oh. Uh, so I can't pl really play my music. I'm going to try again, but. Can you just hook up like a aux cord? There's no aux cord for it. Oh. It's like a still. It's like the early two thousands are like that weird period where they don't have aux cords until like they get. To, I don't think they like installed them in car radios till like two thousand ten. Really? So it's, so it's either like. Um, like that's right. Actually, wait. Radio. That's right. My car didn't. Yeah. So it's like either cassette or radio player or like um, just radio, CD. Which I have CDs, but they're all the way back at my parents' house. So if I want to listen to more my music, I'm gonna have to go there and get it. And it's all like country music CDs, which I'm fine with. But it's your style. Yeah. Plus, you know, I hate listening to the radio. Eight nine nine nine. Whoa, whoa. Well, it's more like you know, I get up in the morning, like oh, man, I need something to wake me up, and it's like there are no metal stations fuck <laughs> you need to have metal i need to have metal it's like especially if i'm in like a if I'm, if I'm having a bad day it's like i really need music to match my mood where's metal damn it do you want to play so i can see if this works okay um it works like every other call of duty um it, well it won't tell you since it's an arcade mode it is uh obviously aim shoot I forgot what Xbox is like the triggers. Yeah. If For some you, games on PlayStation, it's the, the... It's the opposite way around. It fucks me up, too. If you press this button, that's how it makes time slow down. Okay. And time slow down, move around with these. Um, yeah, and I'm sure you'll figure it out. I mean, like... So I don't just... I don't need to win anything particularly. I just got my newest high score, so you so can press replay mission. Okay. I'm not really sure which mission I'm... It's just an arcade mode. So there's three different classes for arcade mode. Um, there's one where you can dual wield pistols. There's one where you have a shotgun, and there's one where you have like a, a Winchester repeater. Shotgun. Oh, there it is. The cold blood ranger. The daring gunslinger. So I just picked one, and these are like its perks. Yeah, I unlocked all the perks, so. Shit, this is. This is like really kind of sensitive. I was like. Fuck. Thanks for telling me. Thanks for telling me. Yeah. 
surroundings. It's like so many dudes around me. Like, Hello. Hello. You're dead. Uh, that's your act. Oh, that's a ricochet? Hello. Hello. We're gonna be a deep shit when that gets back. Really? 
guys are dropping like flies and you think I'm scared. Trying to find a way where it can hear us better without having to use the mic. I guess like uh, I would just have to talk louder or some shit like that. You just freaking die already. Just have to talk louder or something. Got it. Hello. Hmm.
Hello, people. Now we're probably gonna be too fucking loud. Possible. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Talk. Hello. Ah! I always said talk, not scream. Okay, okay well, that, I can hear you well enough. <laughs> Please don't. I'm scared for my freaking life. No, my God. There we go. There's a dungeon. Don't be all full in. See, I told you I think you'd have fun with this game. And the other ones are pretty dope, too. They're old, mind you. But... The first one is incredibly like difficult to get into nowadays, because I don't think it was. I was right there. Hello. Point blank. I don't think it was like made with the console in mind, but it's still playable. See how it rewards you for getting headshots and stuff like that. Like, it's more about like trick shot. See? Now you're getting the idea. There we fucking go. I'm up there with a rifle and a shotgun or pistol. Huh? I'm up there with a rifle and a shotgun or pistol. Yeah, it takes a it takes like a little bit of know-how to really make use of the shotgun in the uh, Akimbo pistols, but it's definitely something. I, I swear, if I can't, if m my stream gets silenced because of some like copyright music that I don't know about. I'm gonna be mad because what I want to do is I want to record this stream and then I want to uh, put the stream on YouTube as like me playing True West. How exactly do you get 200,000 points? You want to watch? Yes. Okay. You just like blow stuff up? The idea is you get, you get points for the combo, combo you have and the combo is like you're able to kill people in succession without like losing that. Like you, you'll see on the side how it says like combo. And it's a certain amount of time that combo goes away. But if you're able to keep like getting hits or kills, it will stay and increase. And the bigger the combo will modify what you get. So I can get a kill for like a 5,000 points if it's by a certain amount. It's, it's crazy. But it can't. But you have to keep the combo going, and you can continue it by either killing people or by like shooting dynamite. So I usually go with this because concentration helps slow down time, okay. and you can get headshots better, which are even more points. So yeah, this is really useful. So I'm gonna play this. Yeah, and then it also makes it easier to get headshots. And, and I've also gotten used to like knowing where the bullets are gonna go for these for this weapon, like the crosshairs. I 
just gotta call a coward. I'm like, I'm being safe. I don't wanna die, thank you. I also know this map a lot better than I should because of the amount of times I've played it. That's the highest combo I've gotten is 47. And I even got a new record too. So I even did better <laughs> than the last time. All right, well, like I said, I'm, I'm playing this game on the hardest mode, True West mode. I'm trying to like so you can't even see me. Oh shit, it is darker. I'm so used to... Yeah. The Lord said let there be lights, and so there was. Yeah, I literally watched Prince of Egypt last night before I went to sleep. I've never seen that. Really? No, I have not. It's oh, good. Oh, you gotta see the duels, man. Like, if you understand the story of Exodus, it... there you go. Just that, but like animated. The duels are fucking awesome. The duels can be like the hardest fucking thing sometimes. Yeah. Especially if you have to face an outlaw. You have to like sort of aim and I have to focus in and then line my hand up to where the speed when I draw will be like really fast. And if I pull before he does, I lose bonus points for doing it honorably. You can actually dodge bullets. Like it's it's ridiculous. Like the matrix, you're like it is so <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> it's not even fair. You need to watch like Tombstone and the new Magnificent Seven. Oh my god, I love that movie. Ten thousand dollars for this dude? Look at him. He's got a big old beer gut. He's a uh, Bob Ollinger. He's, apparently he's a deputy that went rogue. Went no, like people. Like, there's some history behind him and, like, Billy the Kid. This game this game has a little bit of history to it. They're both called Billy. <laughs> there can only be one Billy the Kid. You see how fast I pulled there? I was... Your speed was at 100%. Huh? His speed and power is incredible. <laughs> Nani? Nani? <laughs> oh, my God. I literally got done watching season two of One Punch Man. I'm like, is there gonna be a season three? So left it on a cliffhanger. Did you know that apparently the uh, the Cowboys was actually led by this guy, Old Man Clayton? Old Man Clayton. Not. Um, I was gonna say Clanton. Clanton. I think that's how you. Uh, Freaking Vulture just waiting there, like, yeah, I already know what's gonna happen, dude. Hold on, I'm gonna try something. Okay. You shoot the Vulture, ricochet off of him. <laughs> <laughs> that old man's scary fast. He's like, I'm a man got arthritis, but these hands are rated E for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to dodge the bullet and hit the vulture. Okay, I'm gonna try it again because I've never done that before. It doesn't say Clayton, it says Clayton. Okay, well I'm stupid. I'm sorry. But apparently he was the leader of the Cowboys and not just Curly Bill at the beginning, but he eventually dies and then it's Curly Bill. John Ringo. Why John Ringo? You look like someone who walked over the You didn't kill the vulture. You I'm, I'm gonna get this. You're like, hmm, should I kill this man or should I kill a vulture? That vulture's been giving me a stink eye the whole morning. <laughs> Seriously, like 15,000 bucks for this dude. Look at him. He, he is the leader. make it. He is the leader of the cowboys. Even so, where's his red sash? That's that true. That's true. No, that's a that's a thing. Yeah. Oh, look at his hat. It's barely hanging on, just like him. I killed two vultures today. <laughs> <laughs> Except one was a literal vulture. <laughs> Three lives left. Oh, next up is Curly Bill Brocious.
Oh my gosh, look at this dude. He's got a bottle of tequila and a canteen stuck to him. What are you guys doing in a water mill? Yes. What the f This dude looks like he does cocaine. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to shoot that goatee right up his face. Cut chow. <laughs> yeah, they gotta have a classic. Dude, I, I, I love this game, man. It's amazing. This game literally knows how to be a Western game. It's amazing. So can you shoot him without doing that honorably kill? Yeah, watch. You have to wait till you hear the heartbeat. Watch you just... Ringo. You look like someone just walked over your brain. <laughs> Is this supposed to be like a... Like that's how they actually look like, or...? I think it's just like influenced. Okay, cause... So he... you hear the... Heartbeat? I can pull before he can. But I get no bonus points. Right. Say, John and Ringo in this game literally look like that, uh, look like a bootleg machete, like machete's, <laughs> like machete's cousin. <laughs> like, who are you? Um, I don't know. I'm Kukri. What? <laughs> My cousin Machete? Yeah, I'm Kukri. Uh, who are you? I'm Balasong. What the fuck? <laughs> Is your entire family named after Blades? Yes. Cool. What can I be? <laughs> Pocket knife. Damn it. <laughs> Fingernail. That's not even a knife. That's but not it's even a knife. Sharp. It could be a prison knife. You know, grow them out long enough, file it down to like, you know, how girls get like those fake ones that are like pointed. If I ever see, like, a girl, if I'm ever on a day and a girl's, like, wearing those, I'd be like, Oh my god! trying to be Catwoman? What the Dude, fuck? Noah just got voted VP of recruitment. Hell yeah. Mona Would you open my fridge and hand me a soda, please, since you're closer? No. I think... You can go fuck yourself. Hey. Oh, you got them... Uh, Walmart Mountain Dew. You know why? Yeah. I'm poor. College budget! <laughs> Barely have enough to survive. Yes! <laughs> Do you want to give it a shot? I guess. I'm probably not going to get to honorably kill. <laughs> That's fine. Just, I, I mean, I have to die three times. Let me get out of it. So, what so do I do? Just... This, this stick controls the focus, and okay. that stick controls, oh. controls like where your hand is to your pistol. And you'll kind of feel a vibration if you're in the right spot for the pistol. Yeah, I can feel it. But if you hold still... And then pull trigger is the same... Yeah, and whenever you draw, you yeah you, oh. yeah. Whenever you draw, you have to like pull the left trigger to aim, oh. and then like and then you like pull back on that, and it's supposed to pull it up, and then you can control like where the crosshairs are. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> no, right. no, that just sounds way too complicated. I know it's see where my it's hand... easier to do in real life. <laughs> oh my god. You just blew yourself <laughs> off. You always said, if I ain't taking you down, I'm taking both of us with him. <laughs> That's exactly what that was my plan. You just get like a Muslim cowboy. Oh, who like power? Oh, okay. that's who. Yeah, I know. Or watch yourself, son. It looks like a penguin as an outlaw. You're just gonna blow yourself up again? Yep, you did. <laughs> he actually would drew first on me. He was gonna shoot me whether I blew ourselves up or not. But I said no. Taking both of us down. Alright. What wait, I have another light Wonder what's over here. Hold up. Henry Plum. Just more <laughs> explosives. <laughs> I You're literally surrounded by explosives. What are you gonna do? It's like just imagine like this dude's like in the game, you just like turn around over here. He's like what are you doing? We're in a duel. Dude, look at me. I said, look at me. 
<laughs> Look at me, damn it! You're just over here, just like. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? I don't know. I, All right. I don't know. Shoot. Are Where's you me? ready for the tale of the bounty hunter Silas Greaves? Am I? Yeah, you are, whether you okay. fucking like it or not. Whoa, whoa. You can start this without my consent, sir? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Keep in mind, I am playing on the hardest difficulty, so... It's gonna be rough for me. I don't even fight bots on Hardened. You are about to start a new game. If you start, you now lose your current save progress. Yes, I do. But the cool part is, is I get to keep all my levels. So everything that I, like, worked for in the previous mode... Is still there. Yeah, so it makes it easier, but, like... True West is supposed to be, they like, oh, take off HUD. So like, they take off map, they take off objectives, they take off like, a bunch of stuff that's supposed to help you, like a regular game. Like, so it's, it's like, veteran with no kill streaks. It, it's supposed We're fighting bots on veteran with no kill streaks. It's supposed to make it look like the real West. That's terrifying. Yes. A lot of disease, STDs, <laughs> just killing, awful stuff. Maiming, wildlife, it's just literally a million ways to die in the West. Oh shit, it took place in Kansas? Nothing ever goes on in Kansas. Oh, it just doesn't take place in Kansas. Except for the bitch who... That was really oh, easy It's delusional. Oh, they have cars. Oh, it's 1910. 1910. That makes sense. I can't, like, I can never remember, like, when the first car was when I was thinking, like... In the early 1900s. I always thought it was, like, 1940s. You don't I know No, you, no, sir. Way, way before. I don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. You got a problem with that, What are you boy? doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Aren't you like Hell, 17? Son, it would be oh, that's all right. to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. Relax. Well, hello, Molly. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. Yeah, what about Jack. your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? Is that where you started as a bounty hunter? He's literally got That's a That's what book. it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. Boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. Oh, he badges on his belt. Ten stars off any crooked lawman who crossed. I love how you um, mention something and then they war. talk about it like right Billy after. Yeah. War, and Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous. Remember the hell. last guy that just talked literally had the same, it's probably the same voice actor who voiced um, Uncle Max in the Ben 10. Maybe. I heard it. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Once upon a time in Stinking Springs, in 1880, Silas joined the Lincoln. Ca Some of these are more resistant than <laughs> others and have a life bar. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. All they call like that. Why do they call it Stinking Springs? I it threw in with shit. the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that son of a bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. Hmm. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly oh, I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. <laughs> Funny, haha. -ha. No, you idiot. Mm -hmm. No, you idiot. So there's no crosshairs or anything, so I gotta depend on aiming. Which is really s sucks because using two pistols is deadly accurate when you have the crosshairs. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Shoot that bitch! Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Yep, there it is. Yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out of here. So that's just what I did. 
As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. God, this is a lot harder. I'm gonna get one eventually. There was a golden rifle. Garrett's men were running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Apparently, the enemies do like three times more damage. If there's one hit, you're almost dead. I didn't realize there was a little dot there. I don't think it is. Dynamite. Son of a bitch. You just throw dynamite, you your son of a bitch! <laughs> Shoot the chickens. Shot one right in the ass. Still, one of them reached the water tower. Yeah. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Same. Oh, you do? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh my God. I, I thought I was going to be the one making the but joke. But where was I? Oh, yeah. I see your legs. He's eventually dead. That's what sucks. Human legs takes him like five times. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. There you go. One underneath. Ah, oh, you move. The thing is, is that you don't know if they're dead or not because the game usually tells you that. Until I like, like splatter blood everywhere. I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We'll cover you! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. Man, this really is true, Wes. You're just fucking flailing. Oh, I cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. Close quarters combination two sawed off shotguns can deal with catastrophic damage. Fax. Seemingly endless supply of ammo. Oh, which I stole. Mm -hmm. I thought there was one more right behind me. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, I was dead, inside. Bastards. None the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. And I'm Dirty Dave. I found Billy Get and Charlie Boyd. I'm Dirty Dave. <laughs> no, I'm Dirty Dave. <laughs> By age 21. Crack shot, smart as a whip, Billy the Kid. He's got great Billy hair. Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window. <laughs> Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. I'm waiting until some people are actually by there. Like, right. Didn't really matter, though, I guess. That's when Charlie got hit. I'm here! Catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side! There you go. 
See how useful concentration can be? Yeah. Oh my god, like it's a blessing. Even to Billy. But maybe discretion is the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gambling, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them around back. I'll draw their attention. Not dirty Dave. Me. And I thought, why the hell sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is this Josh here. No, I'm serious. Yeah, better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Thank you, Molly. Please, call me Silas. Now, Damn, what was that? <laughs> Just straight up Neo shit. Right. Making my way past the castle of fallen foe. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done, oh my God. more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Dude just floating. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. Poor shot a few chickens along the way because I hate them rat bastards. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Dude, you're cracking me up. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. Look at this dude. Big old Wolverine sideburns. Proud, handsome, ham hand. What does that mean? I guess like given without deserving. Mm. What does that mean? You challenged it to a show. Shot. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. I keep getting messages from him. It's not even telling me what my focus is or speed. Oh my god. You got a free ball, man. And that you killed her in a fair fight. <laughs> is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. This time for real. Both to a scarecrow. Oh shit, I'm, I'm reading. I just needed to handle some business. And stepped inside, and <gasps> last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's that's not, not Billy. Okay. No and shit. go on. How did it end? End. end. Boy, Boy, that, that was just, just the beginning. beginning. Nuggets of truth. <laughs> See, like, so these missions are like this it tells this guy's experiences, like working with different people, of the Wild West, and a lot of the story is told through him telling the stories to the people in the bar. Yeah. And everyone's like, "Did you really?" And he goes, eh. so <laughs> He's like, "Maybe." <laughs> yeah. After I came to, bastard had clocked me with his coat. Coat for five, two zigzags. 
Baby, that's all we need. And the kid surrendered when he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. And that's where the story ends. <laughs> I'm I really a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I just came here 80 years later. Y'all took some wild shrooms and now you're seeing shit. <laughs> It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. He was with John Kinney's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Luckily, it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. So he beat the crap out of he shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped daughter. me too. <laughs> That's awful. It's like Joker Holly Quinn thing. It's like, what do you need? My first order of business <laughs> was finding a fire. What do you need, darling? I need me a pistol. <laughs> Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean ass shotgun. Me? No, mean ass. Wow, it's funny. Ooh. I wonder if there's ever like an episode of the Palm Stars where like his story. I saw Weapons Billy through the like, window. This is Bob Oliver shot. He yelled that I should Oliver take to the rooftops like, to make my escape. <laughs> so I did. Anybody see Billy? Hell yeah. That scattered gun was like a double barreled howitzer. He could blow a man clear off his feet. Nothing, nothing. You hardly had to aim at that. Guards were everywhere looking for him. like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could. Some of that wood was slippery as hell. The whole town was up in on And suddenly, I was a fugitive. You broke out of prison, you stole a dude's shotgun. So that Killed bastard you were after, what did he do? Yeah, that's he did me right. and my family a grievous harm. Grandpa man. But I knew if I was ever gonna find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. I tried to be still and sneak my way past. But hell, if they weren't always. Apparently, some of them thought I was busy. You hold your shit for you! Shared a certain similarity in build and color. Oh God! I was Boy. just glad I almost I died. Bob's mean ass shotgun. I had to be stealthy. Kaboom! Never mind. Oh my God! Did you see how far he flew? So much lead was whizzing by my head. It was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. I knew I needed to find a horse. Though I never did have Wait, a great said horse for those four-legged grass eaters. What? Find me a whore. <laughs> What's up, <with> Molly? <laughs> we prize him too high. Dude, he like hits on Molly throughout this entire game. Well, yeah, because Molly is a horse. What the hell was that? Explosion shrapnel? Oh, they were just standing there, like, looking the other way. <laughs> that'd be terrifying. Baseball slug. Dude, that'd be so terrifying if you were just... like just... sitting there thinking, I'm gonna get Bill the Kid, I'm gonna become famous. Kaboom! God shows up like, 
What's up? You got killed by a shotgun. What? Boy, was a kid while you were busy Bob getting shot. Ollinger's shotgun. Bob Ollinger's shotgun. Gone. Oh, fuck. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy really sent me for a... Get right. Was, so I oh, I was like, why is that outhouse moving? Your attention while he snuck out of town. That sneaky son of a bitch. Huh? I knew if I made it out of there in one piece. How the hell no can a shotgun shoot that far? Game physics. <laughs> because everybody in Lincoln would be Except dead. Except in Call of Duty. No. Because they all thought I was Billy. And all that blame ah. would fall on him. Oh, he's right there. Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Ollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. He was already a mean son of a bitch, but he was doubly pissed that I stole his mean ass shotgun. Well, gee, I wonder why. Anyway, it was me or them, and the only way forward led me straight to perdition. But the cards were dealt, and I had no choice but to play it. I don't get paid enough for this. I'm sure you don't. <laughs> Do you even get paid at all? I'm paid in ammo. <laughs> Women. And beer. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's, that's, that's decent pay. Sure, back then, that's all a man needs. Honestly. Because you die by the age of 16. <laughs> no. More like you die by the age of 40. Like, you live past 40, dude. You're a legend. Like, how old are you, man? I'm 75. Holy shit. <laughs> you god? You... You... An angel? You god? I'm like... A, he's a says he's a notorious outlaw? Oh! You're the devil. Damn near made a deal with him. <laughs> Just in the spirit of you playing this game, should I get my cowboy back? I do have... I did have like a hawk feather that I hung up in my car after a while and after seeing like quite a few TikToks where they put him in like their headband. I'm like, I'm gonna do that. So I did. Be right back. Tail Hawk. I can't remember where I found it. It's been hanging over my car for about a year or so. You see any more of them? Hawks or feathers? No. Oh. <laughs> the people are trying to kill me right now, <laughs> Trevor! <laughs> yep. Barrel. Oh, that's great, my bad. Looks like I just put you back in business. Finally, I found what I was looking for. Looks like that Undertaker's got the stables on the edge of town. <laughs> Fucking dorks. I'm gonna put this on. It reminded me of like a Taking small Bob shrine of black clip where they have like their didn't uh, kill staff Bob. do it. Yeah. Yeah. One of their but one of their stevers comes up and is like, "Just what this no, movie needs." Because Bob Another came straight right white man. <laughs> <laughs> they all fucking Bob died because it was so true. Was like, oh my god. I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. <laughs> so we stood there in the middle of the street, eyeball to eyeball. He intended to oh, kill yeah, me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. Pull the hammer back. Shoot him right at the big old beer gut. Mm -hmm. Look at disgusting face. I killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. 
I, I was gonna go for the head and be like, shoot him with his beer gun. You know? <laughs> Just you know, gun down, down Billy three months later, so his escape was all for naught anyway. Man, that sucks. Yeah. You, may, well, that's karma anyway. You know, you escape. You tell you make your. One of your buddies like creates all this emotion and kills so many guys just so you can sneak out. That's well, just karma, right? So where'd you go after? Well, Lincoln? Billy the Kid was killed Rex was an outlaw gone. even before that. And there was a whole fucking war about it and me. stuff. I ended up taking a job with the Rurales. The Mexican Rurales? I was hired to help them track, track down, down the cowboys. Yeah, just leave it. Yeah. The so, cowboys. Besides, yeah, so it starts, like, the most vicious anything, outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious, Johnny Ringo, led by old man Clan himself. Well, they must have paid you a pretty penny to take them hombres on. Not really. But truth be told, I had my own reasons for going after those boys. Because, like, old man Clayton's two of his guns were, like, right here. I'm like, how the hell do you grab that? I'm like, oh, wait. I'm stupid. There's this fucking duel later where this guy has guns right here and he has his hands already, like, on them. And yeah. he's just staring you down and you're just. A bullet for an old man. There's like different ways, I guess, people can put them. They can like put them on backwards. So, so was the know, bastard the you were after now go, like, riding with the cowboys? Or just... Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh, I also think like when they said no. it's like, easier to this do This time it like was that. a different bastard I was after. Bam, instead of... The aforementioned <laughs> Mr. Ringo. Bam. And yes, he was working for old man Clown. So he's after Johnny Ringo. I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising. Yes, that's one of the people he's hunting. Thieves and bastards. Johnny Ringo. The bandits yeah. wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there, there. Got I did my best to help those poor passengers. Moments later, the attackers were dead. And I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. Zero. None. It was then I wondered if the rocks were in hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? Or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attacked from on high like Apaches often do. Oh, so these are just Apaches now? They were appearing yeah, great what's a cowboy sword without shooting a bunch of natives? <laughs> Use of the high ground and whatever else they have. <laughs> it's like the it's Apaches always you see one Comanche, just, just one Comanche word like, it's it over a white man. I have high ground. Hold on. I reckon you don't. Apaches? Boom. What happened to the cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in a pitch battle. So that whole thing was just because he said they attacked Apache style. Next year, like, why am I shooting Apaches? And then they're like, I thought he said Comanche. Still pretty green. No, Apache. I forgot. That was like the situation. The general term. Isn't it? The general tribe that was always, you know, attacking anything I could see up in those damn rocks. Plus, those are most of the ones out west in the desert and everything. I didn't see Ringo. The ones in the plains were like the Sioux. Uh, hey, uh, Roscoe Bob, the gun black foot throw. And I was determined to have the my hand on the south. Like southeast. If I could get to Ringo, I knew I'd have to find my way past oh, these other assholes first. No, yeah, sure. If you had plans as well. No? Sound fuck. I like how you're just trying to figure it out. I'm trying not to die. I was out of ammo. Another perfect like example of my relative of inexperience as a hunter of men. Your culture is sick. Yeah. Like it would just have like two I immediately knew that a tactical American call for <laughs> and Norse. Yeah, much you less didn't have those impressive. missionaries trying to, to forcefully convert the Native Americans to their ways. Yeah. How did it all start? God said, Moses, set my people free, and they're like, okay. <laughs> Like, why don't we spread our word to other cultures? Because, you know, theirs is wrong. Oh, no. Crusade. Shit. Crusade. <laughs> I'm out of ammo. Finally, they managed to corner me. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Yeah, I other was. Guns. The odds of my survival seemed pretty slim. Uh, six bullets left. Blowing them up now. They have dynamite on the chest. Oh. 
You're out. Oh my god. Serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Wait, were you meant to run out of ammo? Yeah, yeah, we were meant to run out of ammo. That's for sure. I ran ahead because of the devil. I killed a lot of them, to be fair. To be fair. Oh, to be fair. To be fair. Over and died. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be. Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking? Going up against a gang like this. Yeah, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> Trevor. I'm out west. I'm 10 feet tall and bulletproof. Yeah! <laughs> I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. Oh, fuck. Ah, no. <laughs> no. You died. <laughs> no. What the hell? You did game. You turn around like, what was that? <laughs> Serpentine! Serpentine! <laughs> Eat. Doesn't have like almost every jump you take, you land on a rock and you almost die. Jump in the crick! Jump in the crick! God, they are too accurate, man. And that's when something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven, I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Mm. Pistol? Bat Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good. And he would know. And imagine my surprise when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. That stroke of good fortune, even the odds, had bolstered my confidence. Yeah, like you could see him through a cloud of smoke and dust. Time for the prey to become the predator. Time for the hunter to become the hunter. Time. All right, Jesus, we get it. <laughs> Jack is just like, my God. I guess we get the metaphor. Shut the fuck up, old man. No, sir. I came at them like a wild cat. My fury knew no bounds. Except I needed to reload. It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. He's like, pull, pulls my gunpoint. So a lot to talk to you about, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kanky, cantankerous, mean as hell, old man Clayton. Cranky, cantankerous, mean as hell. I yelled thing. out at the top of my lungs. Clayton, I'm coming for you! A little stealth might have made more sense. Shut to be up. Hey, he said Stop. it. He Stop said it. Because that old fool had a Stop. gallon. No, you're being so bad. <laughs> Stop it. No. Oh my god. Is that what the fuck she said? Is that how she fucking said it? Is that how she fucking said it like that? Your Honor. As she said, no. Stop it. You're being so bad. No, you're sitting there like, that's how she fucking said it. Oh my god. You're gonna get me fucking banned off Twitch. Uh, what but Bill Burr joke. Let that deter me. Yeah, well, Bill Burr's on fucking Twitch now, isn't he? Not if I was to find and kill him. You could probably be like, the fuck's Twitch? Like, I, like I would fucking use that. that. Like, you having a Twitch? You have a stroke? Uh. Can you just, like, pop up and shoot him from there? Not close enough. You can always be close enough. Well, I think that's a good shot. Nah, I gotta get closer. You got a 70-30 chance of hitting his head. Well, I'm not taking it. More on the 30. Because he's got a fucking gallon gun. I'm not taking that chance. Take a shot. Take a shot, pussy. <laughs> Walk through cactus. Ow, ow, fuck. Ow, ow. Most everyone thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon, but it was just me. He's 
hear some of the other ones. Come on. Yeah, go around. Go around behind him. That's a surprise, motherfucker. Oh, I feel I didn't think they turned. Let's see if I can pick them up. That was a headshot. He should have been dead. He's a frail old man. With a big ass gun. There we go. <laughs> at the end of the at the end of the story, it says like how many times you died. It's like yes, I get it. There's if I think if you die in certain spots, it'd be like no wait, that's not how that happened. <laughs> I like how when you get shot, it's like a hole in the story. Yeah, you know, there's a box of explosives right next to him. Get a shot. Ah, uh, doesn't get him. I've tried that before. When it runs out, to pop through, start popping the crap out of him. Poppin', 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 poppin'. One more. I don't know how you lived this long. Oh, God! Oh, no, that's unfortunate. Just like one more shot for a rifle. Fuck! God damn it, man. Like that damn Apache! Need one more bullet! There you go. He was gonna cowboys made it out just of their cool. life <laughs> and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps. And that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the old K Corral. Okay! This guy is insinuating that he's the reason that fight happened. Just saying. Like he's the star of Tombstone? Yeah. Oh. All because of Silas Graves. They just assume it was one of the herbs. <laughs> and like, crap, was it guys? And now we have one of the best Western movies in all of history. What was what was their leader's name? I can't remember. Who? It's not Johnny Ringo. It was the other guy in the red shirt. Oh, that's Curly Bill Brushes. Oh, that's Billy Brushes? That's Curly Bill Brushes. Okay, Curly Bill. So I can never remember what his name was in the movie. Isn't the legend that Wyatt Earp never got hit? A few weeks after that dust up in like the that, OK yeah. Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. Like he had got on his side or he fought like the devil. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill. And they were loaded for bear. So what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Exactly. Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die. And I promise I'll tell you why. Hey, right. coming. Get ready, boys. First, I need to tell you about point the Cowboys' point. new boss, Eat. Curly Bill Brocious. Oh. Curly Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise. And after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. So they murdered Morgan Earth and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. Virgil. That's who, um... Yeah, Sam Elliott plays. Because he's just, like, hanging there with one arm. Just like... He's one of the best sheriffs in all of history, isn't he? Yeah, like, after he got seriously injured, he went back to his hometown and became Wyatt sheriff. And and went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride. Hunting those outlaws down. Yeah, the strength is going to So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. What? Oh. Perfect dog. Yeah, the story is about like Silas Reeves, who's like uh, hunting down his own people. And it was basically sort of like an unknown yeah. lawman or bounty hunter. He has his own story, but he ends up coming across all these like legendary figures of the old west. And they're like, they're like I'm Silas Reeves. They're like, who? <laughs> the who? I'm You're the one of the Earths, aren't you? I literally said my last name is Reeves, not Earth. 
You look like an herb. Pulls Wyatt. Really? Really? <laughs> Are you fucking blind? I need to stop playing like I'm Wyatt Earp. You're not Wyatt Earp. Silas Greaves. My name is Ditch Hendrix. Ka-chow! Idiot. Head is still poking through. He's in the bush. Still alive. You think I got him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I think a few more <laughs> rounds and it will do it. I was gonna say, can you shoot the rope and let it? There you go. There were killers around every corner, all wearing red bandanas. That's how the cowboys identified each other. And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. So you can just walk in there and I say, oh, what's up? <laughs> walk out. <laughs> Like, who did it? Oh, I don't know that dude. I was about to walk away unscathed. That's what drove me forward. They Got say him. that Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly boy. not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Earp wasn't much of a match for him. But Doc Holliday might have taken him. Oh, yeah, that longer should have kept his nose out of it. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Yeah, back. maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. They call it being a murderer. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clinton died, why didn't his son take over the Cowboys? Because Ike Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. Fucking facts, dude. He's in the movie. Ike Clanton is. He's, oh, yeah! He's the one with the blue shirt and he's like the beard. He's the one who gets he's got slapped. The mustache. He, gets he gets fucking, he gets slapped by fucking, uh... No. Where was no, it? No, it wasn't Wyatt. Taking down the entire cowboy well, maybe it was. Gang. He, he, he gets, he's like Indeed the last cowboy was, that like yeah. takes off his sash. And says yeah. I'm not a part of it anymore. Yeah, he all he was also he was like rich dude in Georgia the Jungle, right? Same actor. Maybe. I've never seen Georgia the Jungle. Really? It's got I can never remember his name, it's the main guy from the wasn't money. Easy, as those boys had good cover. Whoa, Brent Brendan Frazier's mummy? Yes. And he like okay, I've never seen that one fully actually. Oh, he played Billy. Thomas Hayden Church played Billy Clayton. Clanton. Oh, Stephen Lang played Mike. Yeah, he was the guy who was always spitting tobacco. Yeah. That was a... Yeah, he was the one who was riding through off the sash. And then he and was just, also... And they just backed off. He was also in the OK Gun crowd fight, and then, like, his brother in it dies. Yeah. Yeah, it was Vic. That guy's Billy. Oh yeah. You've probably seen him in other movies and see. I had uh, to take He a... was in Spider Man 3. That's right, he's Sandman. Yeah. George of the Jungle, we bought a zoo, he played um, Matt Damon's brother. Daddy's home. I can't remember that. What was he in Daddy's Home? Uh let me look. I feel like he was a Leo. Check this out, check this out. Over the head, she played the Verminator. That's funny. He's in the newest Hellboy? Or Hellboy 3. Yeah, the newest one. 
John Carter. There were carts everywhere, Max. piles of lumber, and God knows what else for people to hide behind. That, was a, that really was one hell of a sawmill. Quite an impressive operation. Now, where was Curly Bill? Did you see him? I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. I'm painting a picture here. There was this beautiful waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly... Consider your picture painted. What happened next? Well, finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. There's not a lot of movies I've seen. And he was Curly Bill? He was Billy Clanton. Thomas Church was Billy Clinton. Oh. Okay. He was also in Spider-Man 2 or something. Oh, right. Sand Curly Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Ah, check this out. Curly Bill Brochus takes a shot before he takes a shot. Curly Bill. Nice. Are you saying they ran? William Cowardice Burgess. was not in Ringo so nor Curly Bill's now. nature. Is that Curly Bill? No, sir. I never said they were running scared. Powers Booth. They just wanted me out in the open. Time to oh, dance with him. the devil! This, this guy was Curly Bill on Tombstone. Oh. Oh no way, this is the guy who is generally an avatar. Yeah, he Stephen Lane played a high point. Oh, that son bitch hurt to send you to kill me. Yep, there he is. Jesus Christ, who shot me? Ah. So this was the same guy who played the uh, general in Avatar with the scar on his head. Oh. Obviously he was younger, I think. Now he's older than dirt. Got him. He dead. Brocious gave me no choice but to take. I just had to toss a bunch of dynamite and just hope for the best. Be found. What the hell are Reese's shapes? What? I oh, knew you didn't kill Ringo. Friend of mine he was found or, dead uh, in a different location altogether. Help me settle a bit. What's to better, Reese's day, cups or Reese's shapes? Reese's. Reese's cups. I think Reese's took shapes. Took me a few months like, before I finally tracked like, you know, his ass West Turkey Creek oh, I like Canyon. Ones. I like Reese's cups better. I'm saying Reese's shapes. Oh, look at you, Mr. Unique over here. Yeah, I'm different. <laughs> Next in line to take over and take a bullet, Johnny Ringo. What, Johnny Ringo? You look like someone's walk over your way. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Jesus Christ, this guy's moving. Okay, I may have to dodge a bullet. Fuck! Literally. Sorry I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. So I just killed Johnny Ringo. Doc Holliday had nothing to do with the death of Johnny Ringo. Oh, ain't that funny. Did yeah, you see that Emma Stone's gonna be playing Crow the Bill? Ew. I ain't too sure about that, to be honest. I like Emma Stone, but... Might be interesting.
They should have got Lady Gaga to play Corel Deville. That's who they should have got. Yeah, and they should have got. I was Glenn paid Bacall a healthy bounty for Joe Go and Curly Bill, and realized it was real money what to we be want, made. Do we? That's why I went after Henry Plummer. Now, wasn't he the sheriff who augmented his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh, yeah, I remember him. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. So it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. Describe Daenerys Targaryen in one word. Dracarys. <laughs> means fire and valerian. I knew I needed ah. resources if I was going to Which track like down Roscoe and Bob Bryant. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Tell you 60 minutes feels like one hour. Oh, Plummer rallied his romance. gang to plunder <laughs> one last gold mine before making their escape. And that's where I thought I'd find him. Good. Okay, I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. The key to being a good thief is knowing how to be sneaky. <laughs> like a mouse! <laughs> Literally one of my favorite videos. <laughs> As my late father pointed out to me more than once, God made men, but Samuel Colt made them equal. God made men, but Samuel Colt made them equal. I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. There were thieves and killers, robbing travelers and hijacking gold shipments. <laughs> like those that ran with Plummer. Some were just regular folks I knew in town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. That's, that's Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's sons. Barber had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended Ew, to protect the whoa. public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. Of course, the rest were veterans fire? of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. Dangerous, desperate individual. I was outnumbered and in way over my head, you, but I was too damn you. stubborn and stupid to realize. Mr. Beast was about to give them 20 cards. They must have thought I was Oh tough. my god. I thought I was some kind of hero. <laughs> That's great, Mr. Stern. I both have a dark sense of humor. Get out here! I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous, as there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way.
Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. A single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. Reflexes often make up for a lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. Oh, that's a lot of dynamite. Gunpowder and dynamite everywhere. And you know what you shoot. It shot through him, man. All it takes Some... one tiny spark. And so what the hell? It doesn't do that. If someone is staring at you, they're basically telling you that you're more interesting to look at than everything around them. You better stop it. As a boy, I always loved the 4th of July. Never saw myself being an actual firework. <laughs> Again! Mom, you're going to sleep. You're it going keeps to shooting through him into the dynamite. That doesn't... What? Mom, I'm going to a sleepover to Kate. Going to a sleepover to Kate. Okay, son. But please don't forget to wear protection. Mom, I'm 14 and I'm 28. <laughs> That's... Um, Damn! <laughs> One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dead Oh my god, turn Oh god, I have to run, I have to run, I have to run. Running, running, running! My plan of attack was not just moronic, but in the face of sight. Yeah, I had no idea the guy who played, um, it's a Robert good thing Calfrey that I had the same guy who was playing before I even really? tried. Well, if you really listen to the voice. Yeah, because, like, did you see that TikTok I sent you where it's like, um, his no. little spiel on the phone? Instead, I spotted oh, a ladder. There's like this where they all come way in. Way like, into the mine from the opposite side. He's right there. It was a long way around, <laughs> but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. Of course, being I had a problem with heights, that scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Because even though I had a younger man's reflexes, no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. I was determined not to give up, however. I that sheriff sure moment seemed show quite with Tyler. a despicable character. Coachland, as when the vigilante discovered what the sheriff was up to, uh, he's the same guy who played Derek Hale and Kimo. That ten thousand oh, they put on yeah, his head. Yeah, that guy. Long way to I'm never gonna see him as Superman, just as Derek Hale. I'm like, I had made it my mission to settle that score so come long. hell or high water. We should watch it. <laughs> but first, I would have to make a choice: take the elevator or climb the ladder. Remember, you wear the shirt and keep finding holes in the bottom of it. Oh, Cause you're a working man. You know, work in the shirt, and I like the shirt. I had the shirt for years. I wanted to use the element of surprise. Plus, I figured I could use the exercise. No, I can never use I the exercise. I was warmed up already, so what the hell. I love how some of these are just rhymes. Plummer was a mad dog killer, and the people of Nevada City deserved better. Nevada City? And I thought Plummer met his maker in Bannock, Montana. Right, well, he was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I love how he gets corrected, and he's like, well, uh, I uh, a lot of lives, including my own. Yo, stop, stop questioning my fucking story. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. It said, um, 
What's your country's biggest flex on the rest of the world? He says, well, as Germans, we'd obviously have to say World War Cars! Cars! Oh, cars, cars. Yeah, cars. <laughs> Lawman, outlaw, scallywag. Scallywag. Henry Plummer. Plummer? Max Tennyson, Plummer. <laughs> Chucking Henry shit on the dynamite. Fuck it. Right away. This was that was quick. It worked! Yeah, because you just got blown up. Mention your soulmate. Mm. Bush. Bush. Alright, time for phase two! This is all I'll ever make. This is the only thing I have going on with my life. What? This guy ran. What a dick. He and the piss bug. What the fuck? Oh, it's almost done. I almost got him. I almost got him. My target is so X. Drop off his team at the piss of bug. No, that's how Henry Plummer died. Him and his crew were worth their weight. I got him. And now, I was officially a bounty hunter. I don't even understand what's happening here. It's like the passcode to a phone. That's so weird. <laughs> so I just... If a girl ever did that to me, I'm like... Slap the papers out of there, just like, quit it. <laughs> Cut the this shit. Is, this is not funny. <laughs> like, this is not fucking funny. You cannot separate me and boobs. <laughs> oh my god. You said that live, man. Sorry. <laughs> you cannot separate me from res from attractive women whom I respect. Shut up. So, oh, did you? I hate you <laughs> so much. <laughs> Without a doubt. Well, I heard word he was in Kansas with John Wesley Harden. So that's where I went. John Wesley Harden. Where in Harden? Kansas? Abilene. Why do you ask, Ben? No reason. Was Harden as fast as Ringo? Was cash or a bit Ringo was fast. Hmm? But John Wesley was as fast as the devil himself. Drawn girls. Would they take like a hundred dollars cash or a bitcoin? I know bitcoin's like worth three grand, but how do you cash that? Yeah. It's actually worth like fifty. Fifty. I thought it was only worth like one bitcoin's like three grand. Now it's fifty grand. Now it's fifty grand. Nobody. Well, that's when back in twenty seventeen. That, that's when it was worth three grand. Yeah. See exactly. So like, if you have a bitcoin, how do you cash it? <laughs> It's like stock. Okay. Like I don't know. Oh. I really don't know. Anyone in the viewership, tell us please so we know. Because I don't know stocks or stonks. Stonks? Stonks. I don't, I don't know, know that or stonks. I don't know that shit. The only kind of money I earn is hard working money. So while well, you're poor forever. Yep. <laughs> or at least I see stocks as gambling. And I don't really take chances on the game once I know either I could lose. Well, knowing my luck, I, I could lose more money the than I could. That That's why I always tell my boyfriend, says, Oh my god, let's take a trip to Vegas, go to the casino. I'm like, Nope. Yeah. Two reasons. One, fuck Vegas. Want you to believe. I'm either gonna get mugged shot, or get an STD. Just from breathing in the air. I'm either gonna get mugged, shot, or get an STD. Just from breathing the air. As I fought my way past his I'm gambling, so either I get lucky, and that's it, or I lose a lot more. Today. I always lose a lot. Around, not imagine this place. I always lose a lot. Like, oh, come on, play a game of crafts. Play a game Harden of was waiting uh, for me. blackjack. Nope. I would be a <laughs> terrible gambler. I have such shitty luck. Dude. It's like Russian roulette. Isn't it like Russian roulette? You just go by a color. Wait, I'm jumping the gun here. Let me back up and give you some background on this some bitch. Some bitch. He deserves oh, that. Do you? <laughs> Don't you think so, Ben? Yes, not John Wesley Harden was a killer. 
No shit. Yeah. By the end, he confessed to taking the lives of 42 men. Nice. He was a bona fide That's not nice. old by then, and had amassed a gang of armed miscreants and other assorted. Don't thugs. kill the mumus. He and his men set up camp outside of town, and I was hoping Bob was among them. One dude in the tent just going to town. He's like, oh, I had to spill a lot of blood to find out Harden wasn't in that camp. So he made a kill 42, but the end of this game, you probably killed Dude, that's, that's the thing. When he said that the first Arnold's time I played this, and I'm like, I've killed 200 men. Shut the fuck up. killed 42 men. End of the game, I ended up killing 200 men. Of my You're gonna judge these other outlaws? Really? Dude, that's the thing. He even mentions that. He goes like, in my story career, I killed more men than people could count. It's like, yeah, man. Well, back then, the highest people would count is 100. <laughs> 100 and uh, uh what what comes after 100 you start again okay one no just start with 100 and then say one. 100 one. yeah 100 22 102 okay <laughs> just imagine like you're out of bank some dude's like okay in 100 i asked for 200 I wondered what? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you just go with 101? I'm not that educated, okay? <laughs> you work at the bank. And I steal my Education ain't Friday. cheap, man. Education ain't cheap. I was. Deep down, I Did you lose count John again? Yeah. It wasn't just a little bit better. I would just imagine like you work at a bank. You Before I could test my so metal like, against hard. Like, like, emptying, like, counting out cash. I would first need like, to just hire no! killers. I me I messed up on the quick time event. I never do that. Most oh of these man, I'm a dumbass. I hate my ass. This game's kinda like a Quentin Tarantino where you shoot one guy and just explodes with blood. I was <laughs> I was like <laughs> So you ever see that Family Guy episode where they take like um, different Quentin Tarantino or different director movies and do like little scenes with them? Yeah. The Quentin Tarantino one explained just it fucking perfectly. Blood. <laughs> just fake blood, just like when he splits um, with, uh, his, his, his supposed to be like boss, which is talking about uh, and half of the sword, and it's just like it's like a foul. It's like a water found with all this just blood. It's, just, it's so funny and so true. Like that, right there. Yeah, like in Django, in the final scene where he's like shooting everybody, it's just blood explosions everywhere every time he shoots him. Or it's like, what's the scene? He goes, say, good, say goodbye to us. Say goodbye to Miss Candy. What? I didn't learn until oh, later that that night candy. was in fact his say birthday it. celebration. Goodbye, Miss Candy. <laughs> she goes, oh my god, that shit's so funny. She goes flying back like 10 feet in the other room. You're like, he did that with a pistol. That's not what how that caliber was that pistol? That's not how that works. That's not how that works. Just like in Freddy vs. Jason when he, um... Fucking hits him that, he fucking yeah, flies. Hit backs that bitch, she goes flying 50 feet into a tree branch. Where like, she gets impaled, like... I understand he's like a zombie, he's got super strength. I don't think that's... I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> Go. I'm actually getting some good shots here and there. Is there a rifle? I think I already mentioned that wait, I found wait. Harden in this very saloon. No. no rifle it's, it's a Winchester. It's... Oh, it looked more like you did this. What? I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, that, that, no, that's not how that works. I hope it ain't. Matrix. Neural Matrix. I keep seeing John Wick and it's like characters with legendary weapons. It's like, um. It was like Thor with Stormbreaker, Cap with Millionaire, Thanos with Infinity Gauntlet, John Wick. <laughs> Suffice it to say, nobody there was happy to see me. I, to fact, well off the place. I felt a certain hostility. No shit, you going in there, guns blazing, people are shooting at you. Yeah, I could definitely sense some hostility.
There's a dude behind him. He's got a meat shield. I was disappointed that neither Bob nor John Wesley were among the dead. But that was short-lived. As a moment later, I was facing down the fastest gun in the West. This guy pulls such a big dig energy move here. Just watch how he stands during the duel. First kill at 15. He killed a man at 15. Killed a man for snoring and killed 40 more for breathing. That really sounds like a line from the mountain. <laughs> or from the hound says about it. That's a camera for I felt a bolt of adrenaline. He's just standing there like he does not fear. give a fuck. Like, bro, I already know. He was man. well known for his tricks. And I knew I'd need my own if I was ever to defeat him. Got a wanna poster of some dude named Ramus with a hundred dollar reward. Like, who's gonna go after that guy? Apparently, that's a reference to one of the previous games. That man was faster than Grease Lightning. But being inebriated as it was, it didn't count his shots. And now, he was at my mercy. He literally pulled the. So he didn't die. He pulled the. No, I sent him to prison. <laughs> what? Years later, after he was free, some restless Apparently, took no, his life. He died the, the same way his mentor soon, did while like playing this. cards. He got shot Anybody in the back up of the head. For another beer? But because yeah. he had his back to the door, which is a huge no-no. So basically, that duel meant nothing. Well, like he got the tournament for a bounty. You shot him in the shoulder. I usually shoot him for his head, so like you which shoot him doesn't in the face. He was like, sense. I killed that son bitch, you aim for the shoulder. No, I took him to prison. What? <laughs> that's how it ends, no matter what. I think they tried to stay historically Thank accurate you, as they could. Oh, that's it? That's the end of the game. Yeah. No, 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 no. Revenge is a dish best served cold. And with pounds of lead. So whatever <laughs> happened to that Bob guy you were after? Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Yeah. Like uh, I don't know. Do you ever go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a red man? Great wolf. Ooh, I like that name. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, I did, Ben. I remember once I was after Joe's, this renegade his friend Apache, over. Great wolf. Five bucks that says Hannah. Strangely and enough, I am not putting money down on that because I agree. All right, gentlemen's bet. Should take no, <laughs> I'm not betting anything. Gentlemen's bet doesn't include money, you idiot. I don't care. It's I'm not betting anything! It's not even your word? No! Would you bet your virginity? <laughs> I can't give that away. <laughs> Just look at Serena, let give it back to him. <laughs> Whatever. She says some demonic chain. Did I just become a virgin again? Yep. Mountains so high, they tickled, they tickled the, the nether, nether regions, regions of heaven. Of heaven. A long time That's ago, on a mountain that. far, far away. <laughs> Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. Apache. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during like his daughter's kind of secret I sunrise guess. ceremony. I guess. And the Google slaughter that shit. was unspeakable. Right from the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. He led He's a band of young Apache wolves. warriors who wanted retribution. And were more than willing to die for you. Kawa. That damn near looks like Chihuahua. <laughs> okay, so Chiricahua's a tribe. They saw socially, me. Socioculturally related Native American tribe right. southwestern United States, which include the uh, Sakanade, Nidanahe, Chihinde, Plains of Western Apache, Native American based in southern plains. Okay. So it is a tribe. And it crossed my mind that maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But now that the shooting had started, there was no backing down. Damn it. Sure, <laughs> Cowway means wild turkey. Those wild turkeys, man. Oh, that makes no sense. Okay, so there are Apaches that live in the mountains. Because it says, um, 
referring to the Sioux Quan the winner home of the Cherokee writing from the Treaty between 1750 and 1767. The name is a the name is an I admit to having some regrets about Bata, going after the word meaning wild here. turkey. This mountain range was but originally again, for all the wild turkeys found here. I got a lot okay, of Okay, so Chiricahua Apaches are Apaches that live in that specific mountain range. Okay. That makes so much more sense. So Apache means living in a mountain range. No, Chiricahua. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Yeah, Chiricahua is... is Think of it like a it's Apache is like an ancestor, not of that and there's like subspecies of the, entrance to their of the tribe, or like subcultures of the tribe. Because usually some tribes will have like two names based off like their location. Okay. So like there will be oh. like plains, desert, or mountains. I understand. Yeah. So like Chiricahua would be like the name of this mountain range to the natives. So. Any tribe that lives there is like a Chiricahua, what deep crevice. Okay, I see. Cave. So like plains Sioux. Yeah, but it's not like out of bravery so much as pure angry cussedness. Swamp Cherokee. Okay. Alright, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's just like the name of the area to the natives and then the tribe name. So like um probably a good example of with like animals. Okay, so like gorillas, you have uh, mountain gorillas and lowland gorillas. Essentially. Like some based off like location. Or like Arctic wolf versus timber wolf. See, back then, I had a stubborn streak. That makes a lot of sense. Wide. That makes so much more now sense. I wasn't about to back now we won't sit here and be ignorant. So it was yeah. like pitch black in there? Kill my Apaches. <laughs> I killed them. They were dead. I was, they were animals, and I hate them. <laughs> I slaughtered them like animals. Not and just I the men, them. but the women, women. and children <laughs> too. Padme, you're gonna marry me, right? <laughs> and Padme's like, in her mind, she's like, "Hey, that's terrible." Or like, she says, "Hey, that's terrible. I'm here for you." Oh God, I want to fuck the shit out of him right now. Remember, just like remember from the uh, the parody play I showed you, he's like giving Tarkin pickup lines, and he's like, "You gotta make him feel bad. Like they're guilty, so they'll date you." And then That's later, basically what Anakin did. He guilt tripped Padme into having his children. <laughs> he guilt tripped Padme for pussy. Oh my god. They just ruined Star Wars for me now. I'm still gonna watch it, but that's just. Oh my god. Well, just like later, he's like using the lines on the female love interest, and she goes, Oh my god, I feel so guilty. Like what? Anakin was like eight when he first met her, and she was like. Are, well, no, the first thing he says is, Are you an angel? Yeah, he was like, oh, okay, he's being a good kid. He says, Second movie, I, more I slaughtered him. <laughs> Third movie, oh yeah, I killed all the younglings. What? <laughs> he literally says, are you an angel? And then when she asks, what do you mean? She goes, well, I hear from the pilots that there's a species called angels and that they're super beautiful. Are you one of them? And it's like, damn, kid, like, chill. Oh, like, like bro, how many women have you hit on with that line? Like, goddamn. What's funny is he was dead serious, too. Like, this kid needs to chill. <laughs> I didn't look at the age difference between them. I... It's about five years. Because she was 14 when she was queen. I know. It's it's hard to believe. But apparently in that right. Naboo, like, they have politicians who are, like, very young. I kid you How not. How come you know so much about engines? A few years back, I was married to two Mescalero women. At the same time? Yeah, they were sisters. Religiony is traditional among the Mescalero. So what happened? Well, I had to get out of there. Those girls never shut up. Both of them <laughs> nagging at me all the time. Actually. Drove me half crazy. I haven't seen them since. No, I mean, what happened with Grey Wolf? Oh, well. What happened with Grey Wolf? Oh! I'll <laughs> just patch people of Texas into Mexico. Oh, okay. Did you hear that? He was just like, I had to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, about five years. I came upon this flooded grotto. But she was 14 during him. that movie. Isn't that fucking weird? came to, to me think about? unarmed. Was she really? Unafraid. Yeah. His Apparently, at that age, like, they, oh man, we're getting a. Uh, and I sensed he made me no harm. quality. You carry oh no. There it goes. It's back up. If you do not release it, it will claim your soul. The sound of his voice put some spark. kind of ancient Indian spell. I mean, his face is scary. 
I guess they have a name like Grey Wolf is like those basic ones you would get if you were in the Native American culture. Yeah, like literally we did that for Third grade, like He said we got to pick our own. I literally just call myself Red Bull. He said I was a great warrior. Then you have one like uh, oh, Sitting Bull, Honey, Crazy Horse. An it's like an adjective and an animal name. Oh. Or it's just a color. All that. And then you have like these. Then you watch like Dancing with Wolves. It's like a verb or an action and then a name. Like, I was wind in his, his hair! <laughs> I am shit in breath. <laughs> this is like the hardest part of the fucking game. You wanna know why? Because they're in the trees. I am the Lorax. I speak, speak for the, the trees. trees. For some so reason, they're speaking Apache. Apache knees. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, this is like the hardest part. <laughs> I always struggle with this part. As his story unfolded in my mind. Maybe don't stand out in the fucking you wide open. Look, stop using your damn logic and leave me alone. This will grow until it consumes everything that you are. Maybe throw some dynamite is that hard. It won't let me. I just tried. He said I was a great warrior. A coyote man, unequaled by any other pale faced warrior, or something like that. The snakes will fight shadows of your past until a venom poisons your heart and it will be a coyote. I call you a coyote, so not a wolf man or a bear. I don't know. There's gotta be like greater ways of saying coyote. There were definitely snakes. <laughs> there were definitely snakes. <laughs> His warriors surrounded me and attacked me like hungry wolverines. Like seriously. They couldn't stop Of all like the predators that they named after me, because he was Coyote Man was like damn near second to last in the pecking order. Under that's Fox. Foxes get clapped by everything. That or otters. An otter could definitely fuck up a fox. Or raccoon or something. What would be the bottom of the Probably like raccoon. I swear I couldn't see any way out of this trap. But suddenly one just appeared. Kinda like a mirror. Almost as if this is a game. <laughs> Almost as if the spirits. I felt like I would be lost in that you. damn cave forever. Finally, I found myself back outside, perched on the edge of a precipice, overlooking a thundering white water river. To get where I was going, you out and gives you several ways to slaughter all this. But no way in hell I was turning back. That's fucked. Mm -hmm. He's like, you're tainted in the heart. I'll murder everybody. Explain the meaning of all Gosh, I guess I was right. Jumbo. You were a brave warrior. You're not pissed that I killed all your men? No. I think you have a path ahead of you. You have a great path ahead of you. One of kindness. May the spirits bless you. So you're sure you're not pissed at me killing all your men? No, I'm over it. What the fuck? I killed many pale faces. That's fair. That's fair. Well, more than that. The pale faces suck, right? Word. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I had like, a steep climb up some... creek ahead of me and scrambled up those right, rocks like, like a mountain. Stuck to their traditional I ways. I was determined to locate like, Grey Wolf a little bit. and yeah. started exactly wearing more what the hell he was trying to tell me. Guns, stealing hats and shit. And now the Native you know American know community have the highest amount of alcoholism. Right and it. a sad oh, fact. Yeah, whose fault was that? Paleface. Because they trade alcohol for land. Or whatever. God be my witness. They didn't oh, even have come them on. Who are you kidding? Yeah, imagine if like hey, natives took over. You... We would come on, everyone would be sober. Alright. Okay. I don't think it. that I don't know I have no idea what's in that peace pipe, but still. Mm -hmm. by a hundred Apache yeah, we brought warriors. cannabis well, with us, we brought alcohol. Exactly. But there were a lot of you sure you, they you would brought... have shrooms. There'd be wild shrooms. Are you sure we had cannabis? 
Yeah, or hemp rope. They call it hemp. Ah. We brought hemp with us, and then I guess they made it illegal later on. Am I being excessive with the amount of... I guess they would have, like, wild shrooms and herbs that make you see shit. More for, like, spiritual journey, I guess. Tobacco. We brought tobacco. Yeah, if... Yeah, if America stuck strictly native, we would not have, like, any of the substances we have today. It really makes you think. Holy shit, we wouldn't have, like, yeah, Western Imagine if a Western butterfly food. was made out of butter. Are you thinking, like, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs right now? No, I'm thinking of the song Incredible Thoughts from, um, end, that Lonely Island movie. Where they come out and they sing before. the song Incredible Thoughts, where it's just a bunch of I dumb, like, high thoughts. I to find oh, out it's like, imagine if a butterfly was made out of me. butter. Oh, like, uh, Pop Star, was it? Like, yeah. It was like that some of bitch disappeared into thin air. It's like he turned into a, a wolf. A bat. <laughs> it sounded like a bat. He breaking the sound barrier. <laughs> and never did collect my. I killed a hundred and one enemies there. So when they're saying he killed forty two men, it's Bitch, like. Bitch, I killed a hundred. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> if you were to like tally up all the. Like over a thousand. every mission, yeah, it's got to be like well, I wouldn't say over a thousand. I could get to that point. I played Thank this game like three times, so it's, it's interesting like... how the truth can sometimes seem uh, might malleable, depending upon your point of view. Like how those dime novels make you out to be something you're not. Jack, don't be starting trouble. Yeah, Jack, fuck off. No, he's right. They do tend to exaggerate. Yeah, money, sales. Did they exaggerate your part in taking down the Daltons? Well, I was there in the flesh, boy, so I saw what happened firsthand. Ben just happens to be everywhere. <laughs> he's an old dude, he got around. I'm sure he's got a lot of bastard kids he doesn't know about. Those Daltons were lawmen once, before they all went bad, robbing banks and trains clear across the territory. Until Coffeeville, of course. I was one of the citizens who took up arms that day. Fighting on the side of right. Grat. I did my best. And these are kid Grat. We all did. I don't question that. Let's name like this mother boy Rat. Grat. No, let's not call him Rat. Fine. How about Grat? Okay. <laughs> eh, that's acceptable. It's like Grat. How about I just call you Rat? It's Grat. <laughs> Damn, this this music right now. It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith. And he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the dogs shit got up. it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks... It makes you really feel like you're in the street. West because you're just blindly shooting, man. I'd be willing to rent Tombstone on YouTube if you want to watch it. Oh, Dude, that shit... Oh, I I that movie is just too good. My dad found it on TikTok. He says it's legit. I'm like, alright. Well, the locals recognize the Dalton's right off. Before they can get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. Seats on there. They got practically everything. The brothers paid dearly for their stupidity. Oh, but everybody so knows they HD had it come. Ah, There's more yes. to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. Yep, they got it. First of all, Fuck. it was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the also rooftop have, across the street. Once upon a time in Tombstone, dead in Tombstone. And Isn't that with uh, Danny Trejo? Yeah. I've seen that. That's not too bad either. Months. Now they finally had him dead to rights. I've seen both. Oh, the first one's better. Feared by many a law once, once upon a time in Tombstone. The Marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. <laughs> This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. Who delivers love? 
all the great characters you expect in a film about Team Seven. Bird there Brothers, to confront those Clint criminals. Brothers, Doc Holliday, John Ringo, etc. And great gunfights while the film delivers. The what the film delivers is a multitude of pieces of the puzzle that complete the story. Hey, you not just about why the gunfight oh. happened, but the real history of what Oh, I think I've seen bits of that. That's actually, I think that's yeah, on YouTube. It's, yeah, it just came out. It's like twenty one. Oh, it's oh, oh, that is not what I'm talking about. Anything I saw this documentary. It was pretty cool. I mean, it looks like a documentary. Okay, great. Oh my god, I'm fucking need to pay attention. It's alright. No, that's From my fault. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Fortunately, a water tower was oh, right there. I'm just gonna watch the trailer. A moment later, he was climbing up a oh my god, I keep checking the stream quality. He did. I think it's fine. I'm tapping skip survey. You okay? No! Brave men like I'm not okay! <laughs> Never <wild>. okay. <laughs> I got a sawed off shotgun now. We've got Heroic men like him. Is that did what other men could have said? Oh, will to make this country free. Jim Booth, David Crawford. Oh, oh, shut up, Sketchers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have arthritis and I'm not 80. I don't want your shoes. That's who they're trying to sell to now? Families, I guess. Brother, I'm gonna make you pay for that. Over there! That's Silas Greaves! What the hell? Blank! Blank! Dude, look, I just have two golden sawed-off shotguns just chilling. His name was Silas Greaves, and when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, that, that this looks like the those like kind a of bad budget, really bad budget, shitty movies that either. people try to make to make a quick buck. Dude, I am so tired of the safe. Yeah, like I was literally looking at just like uh, different Those kind of pathetic deputies like, surrounding the bank. Like, okay, like besides like the creepy old school ones where they have the ugly ass giant bipedal ones with the shit ton of makeup on them. What other ones I got? There's literally one called just Wolf or something like that. The leader to the lover, the loser. Or me, you, and me, like, you, and uh, I've been uh, fucking those Blake. For months. The, the leader to the lover, the loser. <laughs> Which one's the loser? I'll let you decide. Finally, they <laughs> did. Those I'm not sure if you would like that. To rob two banks. You the lover? Because I'm the leader. Oh, are you the leader? They still have what do you mean? How the oldest? <laughs> I'm your big. <laughs> I guess I'd be the lover. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes like, oh, everything's fine. <laughs> no, it was, it was like... Uh, Wolf Town or something like that. It was super fucking shitty. And I was even watching the trailer. I was like, this is shitty as hell. As hell. Look at these teenagers stumble upon an abandoned town where it's run by a ravenous pack of wolves. And some of these wolves, they look just like huskies or malamutes or mixes. They're like literally trained. I'm like, this is shitty as fuck. I was like, I was like, was running with the money and didn't want to lose them. I was like, this is not what I was looking for, but okay. There's one with a girl with a little Jesse Eisenberg. What? It's called Curse. No, it was the Smiths, I believe. I haven't watched it yet, but I don't want to play on it. They were shooting at the Browns. I would not think that's going to be any good. Which wasn't any surprise, because those two families have been feuding forever. I don't know what the rating is on it, but it's probably not very high. It's, it's basically like a high school Browns, movie drama meets werewolf horror drama. I think it's only like a few minutes or two. Well, bullets were flying every which way as all the teams in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot, a lot of pissed off people, people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just that's the way life is sometimes. sometimes. Shit yeah. happens. <laughs> oh, there we go. Curse 2004, got 5 out of 10 in IMDb. I am not surprised. 16% of Rotten Tomatoes. 
I mean, Those dolphins were the sharpest knives in the drawer. Los Angeles siblings, they only played together. by Christina. They set a trap Ritchie, to slow me down and allow and at least Jimmy, two of them to Jesse escape. Jesse come across the third brother stayed um, behind to plant me. Mulholland just in case that trap was there, did the work. On the wreckage, a ferocious creature attacks him, devouring the woman and scratching the terrified siblings. Scratching? Are you fucking kidding me? I guess that's like one thing, and Timo says you can still be turned by a deep scratch. But that has to be real deep. Yeah. Terrified siblings, they slowly discover that the creature was a werewolf and they have fallen victim to a deadly curse. It was him. Sliced by the the claws, they will be transformed he decided to stand his ground and face me down. Director, Wes Craven. Really? Wes Craven, man? That's crazy. He was determined to protect his brothers. Um, yeah, it's literally PG-13. It's called Taking me on and all by his And I watched it one transition. It's basically... Oh, well, yeah, I can see why it's called a <laughs> Yeah, one of the werewolves is literally flipping people off. Some of it's just, it just kind of shitty. Hold on, I'm gonna it right now. It's a boss battle. Yeah. Sorry. Jesus! I was like, why can't he die? <laughs> Oh my god, that looks so dumb. I know, and you know, you already saw that one. That's obviously just a full fucking... Oh, that probably even looks like a werewolf, just looks like a... ...were-pug, a were-bulldog or something like that. It's like literally just a mouthful of teeth. I watched the transition of it. They literally just like shed like all their hair. Like their hair falls out, then their skin rips in part. And they literally have to like peel back the skin and then it happens. It's like good. Like I hate those transitions like that where they basically have to like peel off their skin like it's a body suit. Ugh god, no. You. I mean like, in Love Death and Robots they do it sort of. It's like more like the wolf like grows out of its skin and then gets to rip off his human skin. That's kinda cool. But I'm more used to the, you know, like, like you're the wolf, not the wolf is inside you. So like you grow claws, fangs, and fur. Yeah, I, I like the. Now you lose your hair and you peel your skin back like a like a fucking molting snake. Yeah, I'm more. I so like the like, like you are thing too. Now like yeah, the wolf's in, not the wolf is inside you. You are the wolf. <laughs> like, that makes sense. Got him. But Emma Dalton to survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in? <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine, like, in real life, it's like, why won't I this fuck die? Mm -hmm. That boy had He keeps getting shot in the head like, metal plate, bitch! Dink, dink. <laughs> Apparently he died giving, like, he became a real estate agent. <laughs> Just imagine that, like, you get fucked up. We're getting shot 23 times. You're walking around, you see her rattling. Like, what is that? Oh, that's a real estate agent. Um, what's his name? Earl Dalton. Dalton. Emmett Dalton. Emmett Dalton. Like, oh, I'm Emmett Dalton. I'm your real estate agent. <laughs> it's like, Shh. oh, those are your spurs? No, I got shot 23 times. So, whatever's left over, <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the lead that's still in my body that they didn't get out. Like, it's a fucking coin bag. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you is left in there? Well, they got 13 out, so there's still 10 rolling around time, in here. A whole posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand. There's like a guy they seemed as determined as me who's like raiding um, werewolves in different as we headed into those shows. It was I'm like, like I, had I could definitely do that. Give them more background. There was no way those boys were getting away this time. Although I think lately, right now, he's getting into vampires. Who is? It was early fall. Uh, this guy on TikTok. I'll Beautiful look. time of year. Find him. At least you had the weather on. He rated side. like the Not Hugh Jackman Van Helsing's werewolf. It was a ten out of ten. I'm like, I, agree. I agree as well. That, that werewolf is course. excellent. The so animation, the CGI, ones. the detailing of everything. Plus, he goes like based off like autumn. three principles. Maple Does it look like a wolf? Does it look like a man? Does it look like he can kick my ass? He did the underworld ones. It's like, does it look like a wolf? Eh, not really. Does it look like a man? Terrain. Yes. Can it so kick my ass? Was Probably not. <laughs> the vigilantes <laughs> spread out wide, and pretty soon I'm I like, see anybody. 
bury them in the swamp. Um. Where, where they stand? Except for some son of bitches ahead of me who wanted to do me harm. I never so I had, had to face them alone. I just got to look for a video. Mm. Oh. I, I, I wondered why my compatriots what? didn't come running when they heard the shots. So did you find the Daltons? Not yet. But I did have the questionable pleasure of meeting a few of their friends. The boys had established quite a reputation by that time, so they attracted all manner of riffraff to their cause. Oh my god, like I didn't even get a second. Wow! Alright, I need, I want to check my phone really quick, make sure nobody is texting me. Okay, I'm gonna look at my likes, I don't think I saved one. It's probably gonna take a while. So it's long ass time to get it. Point B and I was under serious attack. Okay, found him. And my reinforcements was nowhere to be seen. Luckily, a barn materialized as if right before my eyes. I scrambled up top to get a better view, but just ended up falling inside. So, how did you get out? The barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. But that goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Steve. So I just started walking, and pretty soon it... Oh. Steve. Steve! Uh, huh? Oh, uh, no. Yeah. No, no, I'm listening. Indians surrounded me from all sides. You try to make a werewolf fucking. You try to make a werewolf TV show on MTV budget. No. You can't. I just wanted it's to make sure impossible. Steve was paying attention. Fact. They had to make him as and much like, like cheap makeup as possible. Through a swamp? Yeah. That's right. See, Steve? Dwight's paying attention. No, I, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. So, where was I? 
something close to this fucking mug, shall we? So this is a little bit more of a canine version of the Wolfman trope that we typically see. Um, but this motherfucker's face... I'm just gonna be fucking real here about this motherfucker. This guy looks like Jerry from Tom and Jerry hit a werewolf in the face. Oh, so this is See, there's a reason so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. So did you ever find the damn Daltons? Not yet. But I did find a few of their cousins. Who can breed like rabbits? He counts as do the more serious or I'm offers or who knows what. Oh, the well, 1985 Michael Jordan Fox. I gotta see this. I bet Ben knows what I'm talking about. Oh my god! It's still a good movie. But it's covered in hair and makeup that you're not really supposed to tell. Plus, it's an 80s movie. Gotta love 80s. Yeah. Comment for like more. I just went to like drop in the huge place. So I was like, boom, do it. You want to get some food soon? Okay, we can go to Taco Bell. I would just have to pause the stream. Eight thirty. Yeah. yeah, we can do that. How hot? Like that is a werewolf. different movies, you know, the, the Underworld, like all of them in the Underworld, um, um, 1941 Wolfman, Harry Potter, Love, Death, and Robots. Harry Potter's one makes me feel uneasy. He does Twilight, he gets pissed off at the Twilight one. It's, it's like, not, it's just a fucking giant dude, wolf. It's just a, I fucking hated that too. Like, I don't mind it, because, you know, it's like a different aspect of it. It's not like the traditional curse, it's more like a native... Like a Native American warrior spirit. It's a bloodline spirit. thing, yeah. It's a bloodline thing, which, you know, that's normal for werewolves, that's too. That's when I saw a, it. Werewolf. a goddamn steamboat. A steamboat. So it's more like a natural a sphere, a force of nature. Yeah, Steve, but that's this was much more person. than a wreck, really. But how a that damn same goes with, like, Twilight the and uh, the British yes, show Wolf it floated off during the flood of 89. Born that way. It's now, was it a stern day. wheeler or, or a side wheeler? And he also does, what, what, um, fuck what is it? Does that really make a difference, True Steve? blood? It was a steamboat. <laughs> it's so fucking funny! He was like, it's it goes like, a few like these are just wolves! They're just wolves! And there's like one deep scene deep where like this dude just like petting one as a puppy. He goes, that's a fucking Oski! <laughs> But among those men that were sure is, I found it. Thought I saw some familiar faces. Even does the order, which is like, I like it. Even does like the new video game, uh, Werewolf Apocalypse or whatever. What? I've never heard of it. It's like this new video game. It's like, uh, it's in the future. You're some sort of like super soldier, I guess. You join, I think, a revolution, rebellion of some kind. And this dude can literally go from human. To werewolf to just wolf. 
Like, those are three transitions. It's like... Somewhere up there, the dog that's interesting. On me. If you're like, fucking Wolfsbane from X-Men. Like, I was gonna be in any... Like, if I was born like a mutation like you don't like that, I'd want Wolfsbane's power. That's the kind of man I am, Ben. Because that's basically what this guy I is. I do something. I do it. Except Surrender he's like, you know, Hugh Jackman. Werewolf and he's like, uh, Plus I'm stubborn you know, big, jacked. Yeah, I feel like if you get cursed to be a werewolf, you kind of have, you get like an increase of muscle mass. You should. It shouldn't you be, should. it, it shouldn't, shouldn't be like, yeah, I agree with that. You shouldn't be some scrawny thing, like this scrawny little thing, like looking like a, like well, your it's body. supposed to be a curse. Yeah, like a curse, like, yeah, your body's covered in fur, you got a bigger head, bigger teeth, and everything like that, claws, but. You should be a your killing the body machine should, monster. Yeah, the body should match the head. Cause like you should you be a at, killing machine monster. Like he does, um, fucking American Werewolf in London. He said that was a good one. When I he look does like dog soldiers, and that's what it looks like. The head is huge. The the body fucking skinny as shit. Right about then, much Makes to no my sense. relief. If I look like if I look like that, I could arrived. fight you and have somewhat of a chance. Then you're not the doing the werewolf right. Pointing yeah, me the directly at the dogs. Are literally supposed to be these giants. Man, After months of dogged pursuit, mixers and everything like that, it's supposed to have like a snout, turned out teeth, like the face supposed to look like a wolf, bodies like a man. He can run either bipedal or on all fours if they want to. They'll be supposed to like take a shot, like it's take a shot from a gun, like it's nothing. Just regenerate, pops out, keep on killing. But they don't just want to shoot me. No, they want to burn me, me alive. Whenever you got a but finding my way out of a burning yeah. labyrinth. Yeah, let's wait till this mission gets done. You find that. I mean, her gonna get some food, but we'll be back. I'm just gonna like put the cutaway screen for the stream and then. We can continue this. I don't think it'll even flow. So anyway, don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. They say that the Titanic is unsinkable. Oh, oh little did they know. Back to that steamboat. How'd you get off it, Mr. Breeze? I took in a lot of smoke huh? that day, so I admit my right recollection might be a bit hazy. But somehow I managed to finally disembark. I was coughing up smoke and pretty damn pissed. I was not playing games with those boys. I've been waiting for this discussion post I'm supposed to have done by midnight tonight to be posted, but they haven't posted it yet, so I'm like, alright. I couldn't do anything. What the fuck was that about? But finding our way out of a burning labyrinth proved to be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean. Well, yeah, but I was in a fight. Um, You're well, talking I'm... about the Titanic. If you ask me, it's too blessed to I don't think it'll even work. So anyway... Don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. They say that the Titanic is unsafe. Oh, God. But getting back to that steamboat, how'd you get off it, Mr. Grease? I took in a lot of smoke that day, so I admit my recollection might be a bit hazy. But somehow I managed to finally disembark. Time for the Gatling gun! Once and for all. together two brothers side by side determined to take me down confident that this time the odds were on their side
I don't know. That was weird. I, like, I flushed it, and next thing I heard, like, when it water rose oh, back fuck. up, it was oh, like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, oh, God, no! Oh, my God. Dude, I was like, no! If they'd only known that Ammon was still alive despite his wounds. Right now. Paroled 14 years later. He moved to California oh. and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that I thought I was land. gonna die. <laughs> and the tragic death of his two brothers. Alright. Okay, well, everyone watching, we are going to switch it to the cutaway screen while I go get some food. I will be back. So, just sit back, relax, and we'll be back later. I know All right, well, the music is making the stream slow down, so I won't have the music going. Sorry about that if you wanted to listen to some music, but you gotta cut some corners here and there. Um, yeah, all right, well, we'll be back soon. I've seen worse. All right, ladies. Hold on, hold on. What the hell? The mic is going fucking nuts. Stay in place, Mike. What the fuck are you doing? There it goes. Well, I'm gonna cut to here. Um, thank you for watching the stream today. I will be trying to post this onto YouTube if I can, without the music, of course. I'll be editing that out. But um. Thank you for watching the stream, if you did, and if you're watching this on the YouTube channel of mine, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to share this vi- Are you fucking laughing at me? 
<laughs> we both are. <laughs> you know what? How about you do the outro? Thank you for watching this stream, and if you ever see this on YouTube, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. <laughs> actually, that was that was pretty good. Uh -huh. that, was pretty, that was actually that was actually really pretty good. Thank so. you.